Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five products for Milia. What are Milia? Those pesky little white to skin colored bumps that happen most often under your eyes, but can occur on your cheeks, nose, or chin. Those firm little bumps. A lot of people mistake them for whiteheads, but actually what they are are little tiny cysts that happen under the skin. Think of them almost like a little tiny balloon filled with keratin or the protein that makes up skin. And they can happen after a skin injury, if you've had a procedure where you had a lot of deep exfoliation, like a resurfacing laser treatment or an in-office peel that went really deep, Sometimes milia can occur as a side effect of those procedures, but they also can just pop up serendipitously. Uh, the nice thing about milia, uh, the positive thing about them, is that they do spontaneously resolve on their own, but it takes time. Most likely you're clicking into this video because you don't have time, you wanna get rid of them now. If you wanna get rid of them now, the best thing to do is to see a dermatologist because what we can do in the office is a very simple, quick procedure where we just make a little nick on the surface of the milia and we can extract the contents and it will resolve. However, do not try that at home. There is significant risk to you at home, if you try and do it yourself, of scarring or infection, which is the last thing that you want. Um, but there are some skincare products that can significantly help the milia issue. They can help in uh, accelerating the rate in which the milia resolve, and they can also help in preventing milia in the future. And these products are things that help facilitate uh, the breaking up and shedding and natural turnover of the top layer of your skin, of your epidermis, that dead layer. Uh, products that contain either alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, or retinols, all kind of facilitate the breakup of that dead skin cell layer and, and the sloughing off. So using these products on a consistent basis can really help not only with hastening the rate at which milia go away, but also in preventing them from coming back, which is a double win. All right, so I mentioned alpha hydroxy acids. Now, I've got videos on alpha hydroxy acids, but to remind you, they're a family of acids that include glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, and these help to exfoliate the skin. The other family of acids are beta hydroxy acids, specifically salicylic acid, and it too can help in uh, exfoliating the skin, but unlike alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids focus more so in the oily areas. And then the last type of ingredient that also can help these is retinol, uh, whether it be a prescription retinol or an over-the-counter retinol. And so I'm gonna get into my top product recommendations. Number one recommendation, I mean, these are in no particular order, but number one recommendation, you've heard me speak about a fair amount. Um, I love it, it's pretty affordable and fragrance-free. It's the Derma E Overnight Peel. This product is an alpha hydroxy acid leave-on product that you use maybe twice a week. You put it on at nighttime to a clean, dry face. You leave it on overnight, and then the following morning, you wash the product off. This product has two types of alpha hydroxy acids. It has glycolic acid and lactic acid, which are gonna go to work to break up the glue between those dead skin cells and facilitate skin cell turnover, and ultimately the goal of clearing up milia faster. But this product also has green tea in it, or green tea extract, which is uh, an antioxidant that can help fight free radicals and actually has shown promise to be helpful for oiliness. Um, so this product is great. Like I said, it's affordable, it's cruelty free and free of fragrance. And it's also wonderful if you have dry skin because by dissolving the glue between the dead skin cells on the top layer of your skin, those alpha hydroxy acids kind of help soften areas of dry skin. And alpha hydroxy acids also have kind of an added benefit of imparting hydration into the skin. So you kind of get, you kind of get multiple benefits from these ingredients and you only have to use it a few nights a week. So this will last a very long time. Another great thing about this product, not only is it affordable, but it lasts a long time. Moving on, the next alpha hydroxy acid type product 
It's the Exuvians, here I'll hold it up here so you can see it, Performance, um, Performance Peel AP25. Now this has 25% glycolic acid and mandelic acid, and it also has another type of acid called a polyhydroxy acid. Now the glycolic and mandelic, they're gonna go to work to dissolve that glue um, that I mentioned earlier to help break up the dead skin cells. But the polyhydroxy acid in this will add a little bit of even more, I guess, unique or enhanced hydration to the skin. And this product is actually something that you do like one night a week. Um, and then the kit comes with um, 13, 13 pads, so basically 13 weeks worth of use. Anyways, you take the pads and you apply them to a clean, you swipe them over a clean, dry face, leave them on for about 10 minutes, but you might start feeling this kind of tingling, uncomfortable sensation, and as soon as you feel that sensation, if it becomes unbearable, you can, you can stop the, the treatment early. And to stop the treatment, you move on to the second pad, which is basically um, a bicarbonate soaked pad that you swipe over the face to neutralize, to neutralize the acids and stop them from going to work. Now, after you do that, you rinse your face and you just apply moisturizer. This is a really good product for exfoliation and it also will help in brightening up areas of sun damage. If you have areas of hyperpigmentation, it's gonna help with that natural skin turnover. So it will help facilitate clearance of those issues faster, along with the milia, which, which is really, really, again, mul multiple benefits in using a product like this. Now, if you have super sensitive rosacea prone skin, um, you know, you, you kind of have to be careful with things like this. If your skin's really sensitive, I would suggest the Derma E product. It's a lot more moisturizing, a lot more gentle than this. This is more, this is a little bit more intense. Moving on kind of away from the alpha hydroxy acids to the beta hydroxy acids. Beta hydroxy acid for the most part in your skincare products is going to be salicylic acid. My favorite salicylic acid leave-on product has to be the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is such a gem of a product. Um, I know I'm not alone in, in enjoying this. It um, is just that, 2% uh, salicylic acid that you can put on the face. Um, you kind of have to figure out how often you can tolerate this. Kind of depends on how oily you are and, and your skin type. Many people can use a product like this actually twice a day. Say for example, you have super oily skin, you're breakout prone, or maybe you have enlarged pores. You might be the type of person that enjoys using this twice a day and sees multiple benefits using it twice a day. But if you have normal to dry skin, <clears throat> you maybe only want to use it once a day, maybe once every other day, kind of feel it out, see how you tolerate it. It can be drying uh, because you know it's helping with the skin cell turnover, but it really can yield some pretty good results as far as preventing those milia and helping them to go away faster, but also controlling acne and improving hyperpigmentation. Um, this one, like the, like the Exuvians product though, you wanna be careful if you have if you have really sensitive rosacea prone skin, this might, this might cause issue for you. Um, all right, moving on uh, to the next product, kind of in the beta hydroxy acid category. And that is a product, this is a product, uh, the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Serum. This is a really good one for the milia issue as well as oiliness and hyperpigmentation. Now, this product, has a unique ingredient, unique to La Roche-Posay, and that is lipohydroxy acid. What the heck is that? It, it also goes by the abbreviation LHA. LHA is a modified form of salicylic acid that is a little bit more stealth. It doesn't penetrate the skin as quickly, and it doesn't exfoliate as rapidly or as 
all at once like salicylic acid. So it's a lot more stealth. In other words, you get more controlled exfoliation with LHA than with salicylic acid. So it's a nice, it's a nice ingredient for not having to deal with as much peeling and irritation, which you sometimes can experience with with salicylic acid. Um, it's proprietary to L'Oreal, uh, so you'll find it in the La Roche-Posay products under the Effaclair line. Anyways, in addition to the LHA, this also has glycolic acid in it. You can just put this on a clean, dry, moisturized face uh, at nighttime, for example, and leave it on. You don't have to wash it off the next day. And if you're, again, one of those really oily people, you might actually be able to use this twice a day. Now, this product, here, let me hold it up again to so make sure you can see. This product does have alcohol denaturant in it, which terrifies a lot of people. Alcohol denaturant, you guys, is not the devil. It's okay, um, but it can be very drying. So be aware of that, but the alcohol denaturant helps with the ingredient formulation, and this product is aimed at people with oily skin, and they tend to tolerate alcohol denaturant in products better. Hence, for example, many, many sunscreens that oily skin people really like might have alcohol denaturant because they're more quick absorbing. They don't leave a greasy feeling on the skin. So don't fear the alcohol denaturant. Just be aware of that. If this is too drying for you, you might want to, you might want to do, you might want to go to Paula instead. Paula's Choice, by the way, I'm sure you guys know, is cruelty free. Um, same with the Derma E. All right, so that was product number four. Product number five should come as no surprise to you guys. Uh, and that is Differin Gel or Adapalene. Now, Adapalene is a, um, is a retinoid. It's a third generation retinoid. Basically what that means is it's a modified version of retinoic acid. And so it works just like retinoic acid or tretinoin to modulate uh, skin cell turnover and to improve oiliness. And it's really, overall, as an ingredient, it's really good for people who have acne. I mean, that's what it's FDA approved for. But it will help in breaking up and breaking up some of those bonds and whatnot between skin cells and facilitating that skin cell turnover that's going to lead to more rapid clearance of the milia. Um, and this is very pretty inexpensive, actually. Uh, it's over the counter here in the States. Now, if you don't have, if you live somewhere where you can't get this or you've tried it before and you don't care for it, I will list some alternative uh, alternatives down below to this that also have a form of topical vitamin A. It would be retinol, for example, or retinaldehyde. Those two would be reasonable choices, but this, this would be my number one recommendation of the forms of vitamin A that you could choose for improving the, the rate of resolution of those milia and preventing them down the road. Um, again, this is going to be good not only for people who have acne, but for folks with hyperpigmentation. I know I keep, com keep coming back to that. But for people with hyperpigmentation, the um, adapalene kind of puts the brakes on the enzymes that lead to that abnormal hyperpigmentation. And then it also helps with skin cell turnover to help clear that hyperpigmentation faster. So it's good in that regard. And, you know, Here's the thing, if you have sensitive skin or rosacea, you'll always be told like, or you, people will tell you that you can't use adapalene or any form of topical vitamin A, but that's not always the case. A lot of people who have these, who have sensitive skin or rosacea, they actually do okay with retinol. And I would say adapalene is one of the easiest to tolerate. So, you know, if you're nervous, definitely, Try it out on a small test area, see how, how you tolerate it. Introduce it into your skincare routine super slowly, like one night a week for a few weeks, then bump it up to every other night a week, every other night, excuse me, and then see if you can make it up to nightly. But if you can't make it up to nightly, don't despair. It's still helpful just a few nights a week. So give it a try, um, even if you have sensitive skin. It's, it's worth considering, if the milia are really bothering you, it's worth considering trying this out. 
Um, so those are my top five recommendations for milia, but again, do not try and remove milia yourself at home. You definitely can develop scarring and you know, an infection, bad news bears. Uh, stick to products and uh, they can help get rid, of the, get rid of the milia faster, but they're not gonna get rid of them overnight, but the good thing about them is it can prevent you from developing more of them. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.